on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with SNP Europe. It's game day five for Great Britain and they are up against number one seeds and Olympic champions Finland. That's right, the Olympic champions, the best team in the world. This arena that I'm walking to now will be full very soon from now. 13,500 people will be packed into this arena, absolutely buzzing. There may be loads of Finns, but you know that GB Barmy Army will be making lots of noise. It's a special day as well for two teams, for two people, shall I say, in the GB team. Steve Small, one of the equipment managers, and Pete Russell, their head coach, as they reach 50 caps. Let's find out what happened with all the action. It was on Free Sports and commentating Aaron Murphy and Paul Aidy. Salonen trying to push it by Phillips and the captain trying to kick it along. Does a good job. Gets it to Earhart. Earhart with a shot. It was a good one from a hard angle and Okinora makes the stop. Stretch pass for Philpola. Philpola in all alone. Philpola goes to the four. And what a stop by Bounds. Well, the captain, a former Stanley Cup champion, was bearing down and Bounds shuts the door. Well, it certainly is, but this is a play they use a lot, the Finnish team and the Swedish team. The high flip over everybody, and they stretch behind you. And that's a great take, by the way. And this is a good move, but Bounds just stays with it and makes the save. And, I mean, that's just such a big save for Team GB. And Philpola is going to be thinking about this one. Here's Freeman to Vatten. Vatten with a shot, pad saved by Bounds. Here's Lamiko. Shots on goal, 6-2 in favor of Finland. Here's Lamiko being watched by Conway. There are 14,000 fans in Nokia Arena. Listen to the decimal levels, bounced in. Well, it's just a simple shot from Freeman and it bounces off a skate in front. Pessinen was going to the goal and that's what he does all game long and that will let the 14,000 faithful here celebrate, but Freeman just puts it towards the goal, and it's one nuts in Finland. Yeah, it looked like you're right. He put it towards the goal. I'm not sure who it hit. I think Freeman was trying to go to Armia in the slot area here, and right there he goes across. It's and off it, Perlini. And it's off Perlini skate. Bad luck for GB. Haitian with a lovely move. Oh, what a stop by Bounds, and again he robs the captain. Valtteri Filpola with two Great A opportunities in the first period, and he's robbed twice by Ben Bounds. And now chipped away by O'Connor. It's staying with it is Mananen. Here's Lettinen. Lettinen for O'Connor. Sakari Mananen plays it back to the point. Hikes it with the shot. Redirect scores! A bomb from the point again. Traffic in front. Hardikainen was in the back post, and I don't think Bounds ever saw, but what a shot! From the point by Yusa Heitinen. Yeah, Heitinen just rips it and traffic in front. Not sure who got the last touch or even went off a GB player there, Merv. But again, it's about getting traffic to the front of the net. And that's one thing. There's Heitinen there with the big blast from the point. Conway with a face off window. Connor O'Connor with a shot. Well, he was trying to go high glove. Okinor didn't see it as Perlini had gone to the goal. And that was on target, it might have been in. Here's a chance for Perlini, what a stop by Okinor as Perlini with GB's best chance of the game. Yeah, good quick shot from Perlini. Nice play from uh, Conway off the boards to get him the puck. And you see the first uh, opportunity, Davy Phillips keeps the puck in, gets it to Conway. Conway, a little spin move, quick pass right there to Perlini. Gets a good shot away, Okinora pretty much had that covered. He had his shoulder up against the post. There wasn't a lot to shoot at. Hardikainen into the corner. Heishkinen, followed back to the point by Jonathan Phillips. Hardikainen takes a bump from Waller. Here's Mikhail Granlund. Granlund drifts out. Well, you see here, it's just going to the back post and it's the high slot tip by Volteri Filpola. And again, it's Granlund. Granlin, who intercepted the puck earlier on the sequence, will send it forward. And Valtteri Filpel, who's been robbed a few times in this game. Here's Dowd. Dowd to Lake. Lake goes in the backhand. Stick checked by Armia. And Lake with a great opportunity. Jones' shot goes wide on the glove side of Okinora. Dowd turns and fires. Punched away by Okinora. 
as Lake cut across, trying to go forehand, backhand, but Armia was all over him with the back pressure. Here's Dow, down in front, and Jones crept in from the point, looking for his first goal. Lake keeps it alive. GB skating stride for stride with the Olympic champions on this shift. Here's Nielsen across for Jones. Jones with a long range shot, and Oki Norris happy to look that into the glove. Make no mistake about it, for the first time in this second period, Finland were under immense pressure, and Lake nearly had the first goal for GB. What a shift from Great Britain ahead of that break. Lake with a great opportunity. Here's Freeman ahead though, Armia, Armia with a step, Armia goes in, scores, the old Armia. Tucks it in, four knots in Finland. I think that also went off on that time. Mosey was doing everything he could to get back on the back check. I actually think in the end it might have went off Mosey into the back and that GB certainly aren't having much luck on this one. You can tell Mosey was not very happy. He was, I think he was just heart, heartbroken a little bit there that he wasn't able to get his stick on it, just hit his foot. I think in the end it went in the back. Granlin trying to get it through to Hart and Davy Phillips does a great job for Great Britain. Here's Granlin. Back to play Manon. Oh, what a glove stop by Bounds. Sakari Manon looking to put that in the top corner. Manon to Granlin. Granlin with his shot right into the logo on the chest of Ben Bounds. He will hold on. Good rebound control as well. And Ben Bounds has been a busy netminder. Well, he's been very good in this game. I, I, I know, well, this is the Philpola's move here. Bounds gets it with the side of his blocker. That quick shot in from Hardy Kynan. Salmon gets the rebound. Again, Bounds makes some saves there. Pass comes across. Bounds gets out with his glove. Fantastic save there. There's a quick shot. comes. I think that one goes off the post from Real. Uh, but sometimes you need a little bit of luck. He hasn't had much in this one, Murph. Three own goals, really. Back. Seppola. Seppola. Had to get cute there, Davis was in his way, and now Matthew Myers, Myers, down the right side, battling with Rayala. Gets it along the hook, hook back to Phillips, Phillips with his shot, Davy Phillips got that away quick, but Okinora makes the save. Here's Hannes Bjorn, and credited with the game-winning goal at the 2022 Olympics, but noted for his fine defensive work. Here's Otama, Otama, well, what a shot by Essa Lindell! Saku Manalana was in front, and Tilla on the back post, pick your poison, but what a drive from Lindell, it's 5-0. Yeah, it looks like Manalana might have had the touch there, Murph, like you said, but the puck comes around the boards in the defensive zone, and it's Manalana makes a fantastic play off the wall to Bjorn, and then they get the puck down, and who gets the goal in the end is the player who makes the great play from his defensive zone, Manalana. It's a 5 nothing hockey game right there. And I know it's by the letter of the law, but the linesman also knows GB have iced the puck. They're absolutely gassed. Just drop it. And I would feel it the, the same way. It's not just because of his Great Britain. If that was the other way, I'd say the same thing. Just drop the puck. Here's Heishkinen. Rayala. Rayala tries to go back post. It goes off of Earhart and in. That's the fourth goal today off a GB player pass bounds. And Tired legs, Earhart trying to get a stick out of it, and it's in behind bounds, six nothing. Yeah, I, again, I don't think I've ever seen this before, Murph. Another one off a GB player into the back of their own net. I don't think I've seen a team have that much bad luck. Maybe they're just getting all their bad luck, getting rid of it all in this game, and maybe, just maybe, they'll get some good luck in the next couple of games. Maybe they're saving it all. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. Just, just talk us through the game. What are your emotions after that one? <coughs> yeah, we're uh, obviously pretty, pretty exhausted after, after that tonight. It was, uh, I think, for, for 60 minutes, you could see how, how, how hard every single player worked there. Um, you know, at times, it, you know, a few kind of mental lapses and you see the goals that they scored. I think they scored three or four off. off kind four? Of I've never known it before. Four and, off your um, skate. You know, but, you know, that's, a, that's the number one team in the world. And... Uh, you know, obviously, you never, you never want to lose on a scoreline like that. But I think from the efforts and for us, the way we're building throughout this tournament, then you know, I think that's uh, that's great character for for the boys to kind of you know keep digging deep throughout. And we can only take positives from each game and keep building, keep building. And you know, we've got two huge games coming up now, and uh, you know, we, we just we just refocus on that. You played in some big atmospheres. What was it like to play in an atmosphere like that tonight? 
Yeah, it was crazy. I, you know, the, the, the Finnish fans here are so loud. The GB fans are so loud in, in, uh, down in that corner there. And, um, you know, what a building and environment to play in. You kind of touched on it earlier. It was always going to come down to the last game or two. That's where your focus has been, hasn't it? Realistically, of course. And, um, you know, I think, I think that's where you've got to... It's a mental game, this, this kind of t uh, t tournament. You can't... You can't get too high, you can't get too low. You, you know, you have to try and ride that kind of wave and um, just stay as even keel as possible. But keep, it's just, it's just momentum building and, and just build, 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 you know, towards the last, last couple of games. And just finally, has the break come at a good time? You've had some tough tasks in the past couple of days. So a break now before playing those two big final games. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, it's time to kind of rest the bodies and, um, you know, I, I suppose almost I suppose tomorrow we'll get away mentally and then and then you know we can start looking at video for our for our next game this is such a, a, a tight kind of schedule you know you, you don't want to switch off too much you, you want to stay engaged and stay ready you go well, congratulations first of all on the win tell me what you thought of your side's performance tonight i think we played very well it's good good effort from all our players and uh, we were very disciplined and uh, created lots of scoring chances and uh, happy for that what about Great Britain? They, they stuck with you as well as they could. What do you think to their performance? I think they tried hard and uh, they played with their system. And, uh, but today I think we were very focused and uh, we controlled the game and deserved to win. What do you think about Great Britain this tournament? What you've seen of them? Do you think they have a, enough in them to stay up and avoid relegation? Sure, sure they have. Of course they have to win, win one game at least. But uh, I think they have a good, a good coaching staff. They have a good structure in their game and play and uh, they play for each other and uh, for the country, so for sure they have a good chance. It's not the first time this <coughs> happened, playing a world championship in your own country, but just talk me through how special it was. I mean, I, this is my first experience of hockey in Finland and it was an amazing noise tonight. Yeah, it's like uh, I've been in England and in Great Britain, in Newcastle and uh, 20 years ago and uh, it was all, always, not always, but once in a while, especially in certain places, great atmosphere as well. As well and. Uh, but it's great playing in front of this kind of crowd. That was my next question, Newcastle. It's 20 odd years ago now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have good memories of that? Yeah, sure, sure. It's like uh, uh, Ben O'Connor is now playing for Great Britain. And uh, he, uh, if I'm sorry, he was about 12 years old, old back then. And uh, his father, Michael O'Connor, was our GM in Newcastle. Of and course, uh, yeah. yeah, I have great memories from there. What was it so good, you know, that, that you have fond memories, pick up the things, you know, because two years, I think it was in Newcastle, yeah, you know, yeah. what, what were the special moments? It's like, uh, you know, first year we, uh, we played in the final four and we went into the final against uh, London. Okay, we, we lost that game and then next year we were in the final against, uh, in Pennsylvania Hedges Cup final against uh, uh, Sheffield, lost again, but anyway, it's a great feeling and uh, but I, I remember those the people, they were very friendly and uh, enthusiastic for, for uh, the sports of hockey. And, uh, and I li liked how, how like they, they appreciate their uh, players and their teams. And uh, of course, there are other sports as well. It's like mm. football and, uh, and it's nice to watch them also. But, uh, but I, we, we liked to be there with my wife and, and two young sons. So it must have been interesting for you, for someone that was in the UK 20 years ago, to watch the rise of, of GB ice hockey from the lowered reaches to the top tier. Yeah, it's great. It's like uh, back then they were in a B, uh, B pool and uh, they didn't have a very good like a national team. But now nobody it's like uh, they can play against anybody. And uh, of course, the best teams are a little bit better. But then the second level is at the same level as they are. Just finally, back to Finland, just what are your hopes now? You've got a game again tomorrow against Austria. Is it just more of the same? You've been pretty you know, irresistible, just that one reverse against Sweden, but you must be pretty happy with what you've seen so far. Yeah, we are happy with what we have seen so far and how we have played so far. But uh, again, tomorrow a new game and against Austria, and then we one game one day off and uh, last game before the quarterfinals we play against the uh, Czechs. So one game at a time, one day at a time, keep it simple. Thanks so much for joining us. Really Thank appreciate it. Thank you very much. It. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.